Hey everyone, we're here today with my 1993 Honda Del Sol, and it is finally time to change the trailing arm bushings. There's a lot of dry rot in there. They haven't split completely, but I could feel that they're uh, they're completely cooked, and it's time to get rid of them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the whole arm. I know some people have chosen not to. It's just a lot easier, and it's not much extra work. So let's start getting this shield off. It's gonna take 10 mil. Remove that. Next, I'm going to work on the parking brake. Let's get this cotter pin. Let's get this cotter pin out of here. There. Now we can just use just using a flathead to lever the pin up. Next, I want to get this clip out, so I'm just going to put a screwdriver underneath the lip and, and twist a little. light through the back there. And now you can get your screwdriver through. Next, we're going to take a bit of PB blaster. Hit that on both sides. While we let that soak, using a 12 millimeter socket, let's take out these two bolts holding that bracket. Okay, next is to get the cable out of this metal bracket. There's nothing holding this on here but some rust. That's what I'm gonna do. It's on the back here. I'm gonna hold it. I'm just gonna hit this. Next, we're going to remove the brake and rotor. 
So here I've got a 14 mil socket. It's a 12 mil bolt right there. We're going to take that off. Okay, now I've taken that 12 mil bolt that came from around there, put that back in so I don't lose it, and I've zip tied the caliper up out of the way to the spring. While I'm here, I can also push this through. Take the upper upper control arm and lower control arm to trailing arm bolts out. They're both 14 mil, and it's important to at least loosen them here before you undo everything else. Or otherwise, it's going to be really tough to get these out. Okay, I'm feeling a problem up here with this one. Uh, the bolt turned a little bit, but I did not see the threads move here, which tells me this bolt might be on the verge of splitting. So I can't get my can't get my impact gun between here and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this from the body, two 14s. Next, on the inside of there, this 12 mil bolt holding, holding the parking brake cable up. So let's get that one out of here. Next, using a 17 millimeter socket, we're gonna take off the two bolts holding up the trailing arm bushing. I'm gonna pause right here before we take this down all the way. We're going, to, we're going to loosen up the bolt back here on the compensator bracket. It's 14, 14 millimeter right there. You won't be able to take it out right now because it's going to hit the body. But once these two come down, you'll be able to get that out. You don't want to take this side out if you don't have to. That is your, uh, your toe adjustment bolt. 
realistically, you should be getting your car aligned when this is done anyway, but I find it better to go this way. Okay, with those down, the only thing left holding this onto the body is this bolt, which we've already loosened partly, and another 14 millimeter bolt going to the compensator bracket. Now that we can pull it down some, you'll see that it's, it's right there. I tried moving this earlier with a wrench, didn't have a lot of luck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 14 mil impact on a swivel head, try and get it out that way. There's that bolt here. You can see it's got some 27 year old Loctite on it. Hence why I had so much trouble trying to move that with a wrench. Okay, the last bolt before this whole arm comes out is here. And since I've got an impact already, I'm just gonna do this. seven-year-old bushing does not have much life left in it okay we're here with our trailing arm before we get started I am just gonna take off this plastic piece here with one 12 mil bolt just so that doesn't get broken while we're here What I did here is obviously it's propped up on some wood, but I also put some lugs on these. Not the ones that actually go on the car, but just ones that I have laying around that I don't plan on ever using. What we're gonna do is take a hammer and just, just hit away at it. And fairly quickly it should come out. All right, with the trailing arm removed and the old bushing removed from that trailing arm, it's time to install our new ones. Going with this one here from White Line. And we're gonna use a bearing press kit to get this installed. This is a greaseless bushing, but we can use some dish soap to help move it in a little easier. set up the tool with a piece wide enough to cover that area. Now 
you're going to take this one here and that goes over the entire surface. And then we're going to close it up. You can do this by hand for a while. And then once everything's snug, take a ratchet. This particular one here is used using a 32 millimeter socket, which is the same size as the, the hub nut for this car. Then we can just wind it down. gone loose so we know it's all the way in. That's what the final product looks like. Don't worry too much if it's not entirely straight here. You can use a rubber mallet to hit that. It might move a little, but ultimately it doesn't matter a whole lot. The second piece to this kit is your bar here for the bolts and just slides through easily. Now we can take this back to the car and reinstall it. All right, so we switched sides here for the reinstall because I'm doing both at the same time. I'm gonna pick up the arm and we're gonna get it into the lower, lower control arm first.
let that in somewhat. We can start with the rest. Now what you want to do is not put this in yet. I found that it's much more difficult with this. We can put it, we can try putting it into place. But we lose a lot of motion when trying to get the, bo the bolt up here for the trailing arm. Well, let's see what we can do. Set that into place, and then hopefully we have enough room to lower this where we can get the bolt through. Bring it around this way. What you want to do is pull down here. I'm gonna use my foot here to hold this up from falling from falling over. got that started and actually what we'll do here now that we've got it started is we can use actually before we do that what we'll do is we'll get this lined up take a ratcheting 14 millimeter wrench you can do this without ratcheting but it's going to take you some time We'll just snug it up there and we'll tighten it down properly later. Next is to uh, mount the trailing arm points to the body. So you're taking a new pin, insert it from the inside, and taking two 17 mil bolts. We're gonna mount it up. Thank <laughs> you. 
good idea to bring them up evenly. So that's the arm mounted. Now all we have to do is tighten everything up to its torque spec and put the brake and the parking cable back together. Throw a couple of lugs on this so it doesn't move around when you try to put the bracket back on. Next, you're going to take the bracket and get that bolted up. Tighten those down to 14 millimeters. install the pads. Make sure you pad with the squealers on the inside. I'm gonna sit that in the channel there. through going toward the back of the car. We'll get that in loosely for now. Parking brake cables back through. Next, we're going to take this little bracket. I put some anti C's in there. Started. I'm going to send those down. And as you get closer to the bottom, it's a good idea to set your parking brake cable because there won't be that much room to move it once everything's tight. Okay, when that's done, you can take a clip. that back in. Now we're also going to take this pin and get it through here. Make sure your parking brake lever is not engaged when you're doing this or you're going to have a real tough time. Once it's down, we can add the cotter pin back to it. Don't tighten it all the way or it's gonna pinch it. You'll never get that back bolt in. So 
Okay, we're just about done here. You can take these out. What we've got to do now is get everything to its torque spec. So these two here, if you've had to take them off, which you probably shouldn't have, but if you do, those are going to be 30 each or 29 to be specific. Your upper control arm to trailing arm bolt here and the lower control arm to trailing arm bolt here. Those are going to be 40 foot pounds each. Then on the trailing arm bushing mounting bolts, which is your new, the new pin that's going through your polyurethane bushing, those two bolts are going to be 47 foot pounds a piece. And the same goes for your trailing arm two compensator. here now you're never going to get a torque wrench on that so you're going to probably have to do that by feel what you can do is use these use these ones here as your guide since they use the same torque spec get them snug by hand and then count how many turns it takes to get them to the torque spec. It could be half a turn, three quarters turn, one and a half turns, whatever that is. And just try to match that with, uh, with a wrench. All right, so I've tightened two bolts for the trailing arm bushing. These are done here. Now the last three are the ones for the compensator arm straight back, upper control arm, lower control arm. Now you're supposed to have some preload on those ones because they go through bushings. And I don't really feel like putting this up on ramps or trying to do it while it's on the ground because it's pretty tough for a low car. So I am just using, so I'm just gonna be using my jack here to put some weight on this. And I think that'll be good enough. For the bolt back here, because there's no way we can get a torque wrench on it. It's 47 foot pounds, just like the trailing arm bushing bolts. So when we're torquing those, it was about a quarter turn past, um, past snug. So I'm gonna try the same thing here. There's an eight. That feels pretty good to me, so I'm gonna stick with that. That leaves us with these two here, the upper and lower control arms. These ones are 40 piece. All right, and with that, you can move your jack away, put your tires back on, and take this out for a ride. That's how you change a trailing arm bushing on Honda Civic. If you want to see that again there, that's the part number I used. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below.